Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yaziel and today we want to see if we can implement all these events for the failed login and successful add user and failed uh, add user. Uh, also we want to little twing our login um, plugin. But before we start with that, I think I forgot something in one of the videos. So um, if you got problems with the window, uh, the scene is not changing uh, from the last video, you may have uh, this particular stuff not added. As you can see here in Unity, we got the uh, network manager on our login scene. And you need to add here in the network manager, add component and going for dark and there is a dark rift receiver. If you don't have that in uh, your project, um, it will be a problem with the on event handler, um, on, e on data event handler, which um, is used. over here to bind to on data handler uh, so if you don't have the receiver nothing comes here through uh, this function um, sorry about that um, well uh, that's cleared now and um, we're gonna start with the login plugin in visual studio so over here it is um, let's start from the top. At first I added a new command. You remember we had a variable which called um, create user or uh, allow add user in our settings CNF and we are not able to turn it on and off uh, while we have the server started. So we add a command for that. It's just a plain as we know it already, new command, the command name, the command description and a new action, action string we turn into the user create command. So let's scroll a little down and somewhere I got the function user create command. There's the string and I call it command string. So let's open that. It's just easy stuff. We just have to switch and variable. Um, so at first we check if the command string dot length is uh, equal or not equal to one. It's not equal to one. Then we gonna lock color. Ah, you know, don't know that command. Um, it's a little so I don't get always to the shiny gray. Gray. It's just easy. We have the function lock color string uh, which I call text and uh, the console color color and we just the, use the function console dot foreground color um, is equal to color and then we interface lock our text and after that we set it back to white so console dot foreground color is equal to console color dot white so now we can use the new function. Uh, just close that. And you see, uh, we do this simply easy lock color, and this is our text. And uh, we uh, turn in the magenta, dark magenta color. And, and uh, then we will just return out of this function. So now we are sure we have a length from one. And if we got a length from one, we can check the first item if it's uh, on in our list. And if it's on, we can uh, set this uh, underscore allow user to true. And uh, we also can lock uh, color at user uh, creation is like this variable. So it's on and uh, we set the color to yellow. And also we do it with the off part and we set the variable to false and then just lock color um, it's off in yellow also. So that's quite easy. Um, let's close that. 
Next we are missing what happens if the uh, login is not successful. So we go into our on server message and there we open up the login part. And here we go a little bit down. You know that part, we check if we get a row back. If we don't get a row back, so we use an else function here, that's the new part, and we see if it's debug on, we interface.log, login plugin user, username, could not log in, and now we want to send a message to our uh, Unity project. So at first we set a reason, and I set the reason zero for just there is no user, and then you use the function con dot send reply and the login tag login and the login subject login failed and the reason um, uh, zero. So why don't I put the zero direct in here? That's easier for the other part on Unity uh, later on if we want to read out the data um, since we already put in an integer here we uh, can direct uh, read it out into an integer variable. Um, I also defined my um, reason variable on top here, so private int reason, so we got that um, here to use. Also, we need to send our Unity project a uh, reason if it failed and um, we uh, set the reason to zero uh, minus one and um, sent a con reply to login tag, login failed and to, with the reason minus one. <clears throat> of course, it has to be here in the catch uh, part of these functions. That's for the login failed stuff now. We have to do it for our add user part. I open that. And here you see the function we, well, the variable we defined uh, with the command before allow add user run, run. Um, you know that already, but uh, we send here um, if the user is add, we um, send the reason one, so we know the user is created, and also we do it with the con.send reply login text, login subject at user success, and we send the reason. Also in our catch function, here we go and set the reason to minus one, and do the uh, um, con.send reply login tag, login subject at user failed, and uh, this time the reason minus one. So next part will be the Unity part. So in our Unity project we open the Login Manager. And we're going to add these three delegates. It's always the public delegate void and then fade login event. And in the fade login event we um, return or insert an integer. Uh, which I call reason, and in the delegate successful add user handler, we just don't add anything, and also we don't add anything in the failed add user event. And then we're going to make uh, the events for that part. Um, so failed login event handler on failed login on successful add user and on failed add user. So when we got that, we have to check out the message we get out of our on data handler. And we're going to open the login user failed. We're going for uh, the int underscore reason and read that out of our data direct, as I mentioned for before in uh, the login plugin. <clears throat> Uh, 
so we get direct out of our data the uh, int. You can only only do that if you have only one variable uh, in the connection. Um, and then we fire off the event on failed login. So if the on failed login is uh, not equal to null, we'll do the uh, on failed login underscore reason event. And basically, we do that with the add user success. So we check if the login subject is add user success, and then we fire up the event. And also we do that for the add user failed, we fire on that event. So delegate events and look for the connection, look for the subject and fire up the uh, corresponding uh, events. Next we look on our login uh, C sharp script and here we go and add ourselves to the new events we made. So it's login failed, we add that and plus equal button login. Uh, oh, sorry, again. Uh, unsuccessful uh, add user, we call the function login uh, button login. And on failed uh, add user, we call the button uh, quit function. Um, and also I added on application quit. So if the application uh, is quitting, we just remove ourselves out of the uh, events. So basically the same than here, just a minus equal to here. And so we're gonna out of that. So uh, what's going on? So first of all, when we log in, then we go to our change to first level. We know that already. And the next part will, if we fail login, we have to check the login reason. So we gonna fail here. And the end reason, uh, if it's zero, then just the password was not right. The, uh, or the user is not there. Um, we clear the password input text field. And else we got a major error and something different is wrong, we just quit uh, out of this uh, application. So we use the function button quit. Um, in the button quit, I added, um, since the application dot quit only works in uh, the standalone version, so if we compile our game and then it works only, I added an if uh, Unity editor, so when we are in the editor, uh, then editor application is playing equals to false and uh, then end if that. So this part will only be called if we are in editor mode. That For that to work, um, we need to use this if editor uh, function on top on the using. Uh, we uh, need to use unity editor, of course but we only want to use Unity Editor if we are in our editor. So we have to do the if function uh, at the end if uh, up there also. So we cleared that, we went through that and we went through the button quit. And the next is uh, unsuccessful add user, we call the button login direct. So if we logged on, we just go for our next round uh, message to the server and we use the uh, login function out of our login manager. And so the next part is we will uh, get logged in. And um, if we failed uh, the add user with a uh, uh, function, whatever, uh, there must be something real wrong, so we just quit our of, out of our application direct. So why we don't see an our uh, add user function and direct return uh, the login ID and stuff like that, that you can do, of course, but uh, I think it's uh, uh, nice to have it separated. 
so um, we can add different stuff later on uh, between the add user and the login uh, stuff. Uh, that's my idea because so uh, why I uh, separate that and just run uh, the uh, ping pong through the server and back again. Well, if you did everything right, there should be no error. But before we can start that, we have, of course, save our login plugin. Save all and uh, build pro uh, project. Rebuild successful. And we go to our server plugin source plugin plugin bin debug copy server plugins right and insert fire up the server there it is let's see if our now new stuff is working help we got a new function user create user create and there's our dark magenta you need to our oh, kind of color is not so nice eh? uh well you need to add the on so it's yellow with on and off okay that works um we're gonna lock dark riff oops lock dark rift and lock on so let's start the unity project go here we are connected with the number one and we're going for the user two we had in the last demo already and the password one and say login and nothing happens but the password is cleared so we don't get an information there so we need to lp debug so debug is true we go and to do that again one login so we get a debug user two could not log in and if we go for a new user maybe let's do one two three or whatever and the password is so when we say add user you see we first get an add user tag and then we got an uh, login tag oh by the way we could uh, print out the user over here the username so we know that's corresponding well that's for the sh short part just before the first humor char um yeah well um I think it's gonna happen this week. Um, if not, it's beginning of the next week. Um, but I'm uh, in good hope that we do it this week. Or if you had fun, um, just uh, leave a like or uh, subscribe to my tutorial series. Um, also, uh, if you want to have the source code, go to uh, my Patreon page and uh, I will send you the source code. If you have a question, just leave a message. Uh, I try my best to answer this. And uh, happy night shift. See you.